My favorite thing about working in the hospitality industry is really the community. We are a family. Um, we see each other in person as much as we possibly can. And fortunately, we've been able to keep in touch with each other virtually now. Hi, I'm Gianna Johns. I um, am a head bartender at The Nomad Los Angeles. Hi there, my name is Donnie Ronan. I am the founder of DC Spirits, and I'm also a partner for Shaker and Spoon, which is a cocktail delivery company. My name is uh, Nick Nistico. I currently work for Overproof. Prior to that, I was the general manager at Sweet Liberty Drinks and Supply Company. Uh, my name is David Boxwell. I was a uh, brand ambassador advocate for Balvini and Glenfiddich scotches. My name is Jonathan Pogash, founder and owner of the Cocktail Guru. The best part about the hospitality industry is being with your friends in environments that you enjoy and everybody's having fun. I think the obvious answer is is people. You can't, I mean, you can't work in the hospitality industry if you don't like people. So, um, or if you're not at least fascinated by them. And I'm definitely fascinated by people and- um, Honestly, the people, to be able to collaborate with them and do research and development together and come up with ideas and, and back and forth. I, I love doing that. It keeps you on your toes and you actually get to exercise all your senses at once in, in the work environment, which uh, just keeps you sharp as a razor. I mean, let's be honest here. When you go someplace and you're with your friends and you're having a good time, those are the best experiences. Uh, right now is very difficult. Fortunately, uh, the good people here at Overproof and our initiative has got me going, working around the clock. I'm growing an edible garden right now. Uh, planting new herbs. Cucumbers, watermelons, zucchinis, strawberries, onions, spinach. A lot, and a lot more. I've been keeping myself busy by doing live streams uh, in my cocktail lab from home. I do some cooking. Cooking up recipes, finding new spices I have in the drawer. I like walking around Miami, waiting for the parks to reopen. And to be able to continue to flex my skills and my cocktail muscles, uh, if you will. I'm trying to get my skills up. It has to be a an old-fashioned pour in the room. I'm actually just going straight for the good stuff. Um, My go-to quarantine cocktail is, is, I've been making a lot of micheladas. During the daytime, it's gin and tonics. I have a tremendous amount of rare scotches. That's a nice you know, gin and tonic before noon, why not? Something simple, three ingredients, stirred, spirit forward. So I'm drinking the brown liquor. I, I made some bubblegum gin. I supplement that with um, organic, it's just sustainable biodynamic wines. In the evening time, I really, I really like espresso martinis. I'm just drinking that <laughs> straight, <laughs> which has been fun. Pink bubblegum gin. I like making like a pot of Cuban coffee and then shaking that up with some shitty vodka, with a nice big frothy head on it, and then shooting that down. That's probably my go-to. Hmm, the first thing I'm going to do when quarantine ends? Probably the first thing I'll do. The first thing I plan on doing when quarantine ends is, of course, grab a buddy and go sit at a bar and have a beer. To visit some of my favorite cocktail bars. I can't even believe how much I want to just have a beer at a, at a bar, any bar, anywhere. You know, I'm not looking forward to things going back the way they were. We have to keep our team safe. Well, that's sort of a loaded question these days. We have to evolve from this. But in an ideal world, I would go to the biggest music festival possible. The advice I'd give bartenders would be uh, stay creative. Hang in there. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. And give yourself, you know, honor that time with yourself. There are resilient amazing people that you've worked with and that are in the same position that you're in. Unfortunately, as bartenders, we were made for this. It's so wild, like, you know, we're, we only ever bartend and we're only ever with people. And If there is another thing that sparks your artistic desires, that is something that you should 100% pursue. Bartenders can adapt to any circumstance and situation. Maybe learn a new skill. Flex your, your network communicate and to um, keep in touch with your bartender friends. Reach out to them, see what they're doing. Um, there's going to be a tremendous amount of opportunity when this whole thing is over with. I think everybody's got to look to find something that they can get excited about and get on board with. Exploring something that you've always wanted to try, for sure, I think is important right now. 
just a positive uh, drink the right amount and the right stuff while you're home and uh, enjoy yourself. We'll be back and we'll be better.